Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into XRP. Once again, thank you for your continued support, okay? And the people in the Patreon, big thumbs up to each and every one of you. We're really glad that you're enjoying that content. We are thinking about doing some extra content in there for you as well, for you, for yourselves. So uh, stay tuned to that, okay? So right now, just big thumbs up to each and every one of you. Thanks for following us on Twitter, Instagram, the whole lot. All the links are in every single video description and on coinskid.com, okay? So hope you had a good Monday and let's, let's smash it this week, okay? Because XRP has really, really picked up, hasn't it? It's really come out of the trap. Uh, from from a dip uh, so far uh, from this big correction right here XRP roughly went up 63% but it's currently trading up uh, whopping 53% so that's great that's good uh, a couple of things which is really positive we've broken the golden ratio I mean this is the weekly okay and it's only Tuesday so we won't get too excited because obviously as I've made you aware this is what you're potentially looking at you go up you come down you go up you come down and you, you don't need your ass from your elbow and you sort of hit in your head you're in your ass but as long as you're adhering to a level of support right now and you, you can stay above this 20 it's looking good. It's looking good for continuation for XRP. So this is what we need to keep in mind, okay? Because if we can, over the next couple of weeks, and we get some that great news, boom, see you later, alligator. We're off to the beach, and it's going to be fireworks for XRP, isn't it? So fingers crossed, okay? But obviously, we can't see into the future. But as long as you're adhering to support, that's the main thing, and you're above key levels of support. And right now, you're above the 20 EMA on the weekly. Very, very important. Very, very good. Very positive. You can see you've run into a little bit of resistance right now. And I'll show you exactly where that resistance is in a moment. But I want to reassure you what XRP is doing right now is really, really positive. Okay, Even if we roll back, as long as you're holding support and we don't start making lower lows, it's golden, effectively. So it's not going to happen overnight. Don't be disillusioned that we're just going to break out and go to the moon. Might do. You know, I can't see into the future. I've not got crystal ball. But... The, the, the most healthiest thing is a level of consolidation okay after this leg down no more breakdowns no more breakdowns for the love of crypto no more breakdowns um bitcoin needs to behave and bitcoin's looking like it's consolidating uh, trying to break out but we'll, we'll see what's going on with that there's so much fud isn't there there's so much fud around crypto uh, how it's a, a ponzi and a house of cards and it's a scam and all that kind of rubbish you know it, that always comes to fruition when when the market's correcting when it when it's going up all you hear is good stuff and when it's going down all you hear is bad stuff so just have your blinkers on okay just look forward look to the future because this is where xrp is going into the future whether or not it's this bull run next bull run or whatever you're looking at these price appreciations for xrp but personally i do think we are in still in bull run okay a lot of people i know are flip bearish even people that are really bullish are flip bearish okay but i'll just always say what i see and in front of me i see progression and i see upside and i see potential for xrp effectively and I, I do solemnly believe i stand my price prediction that we at least get to the to the all-time high in this bull run and then some okay and uh, fingers crossed we do actually get to these levels because it'd be amazing for everyone involved okay so right now i'm just going to show you exactly where those levels of resistance are that you've run into for xrp but rest assured we're looking healthy okay as long as we can remain above the golden ratio it means we've broke a key level of resistance already and as long as we can stay above the 20 golden so right now i'm just going to look at the hourly time frame for xrp then so with xrp on the hourly time frame now i told you i'd set i'd show you where you ran into a level of resistance and you can see it straight off the bat i don't even need to tell you what it is it's this channel that you're in okay and like i said to you you're going to break out these emas if you can break out the emas yesterday was a fantastic day for xrp we'll drop the 34 in okay look at the 34 i said what you, what you want to see okay because in the whole time that you've been in this downtrend each time you've come back up, obviously you've hit the resistance of this upper channel now, this broadening, descending channel that you're in, okay, which is actually a, a bullish reversal pattern, by the way. I've, I've outlined that to you many a times. If you break the level of resistance, you're looking to come back to where you came from, and that is $1.76, roughly up to there, where you formed the channel in the first place. Do you see that? So this is where you could see a right, right nice bit of upside for XRP, obviously getting through these Fibonacci retracement levels as well to the local high at 196, I believe it is. Where are we? Yeah, one one ninety six, right there. So, it's looking good. It's looking relatively healthy. But again, you've hit your head on resistance avenue. And you've come back. There is a little bit of a pattern that's forming just there that we do need to keep an eye on, okay? Because it is a bit of a reversal pattern. It's a double top, on on the hourly time frame. But rest assured, we broke through the thirty four yesterday. This is something we've not done in this in in entire downtrend just there since we broke back into this channel. The one thing we've not done is broke the thirty four. Do you see this? We've hit the thirty four as resistance, and each time we've hit it, we've had a major dump, okay? for xrp but right now we've broken through we've back 
test of support. We got through the the 55, which is equally important. We've created a bullish cross on the hourly, okay, for the for the 20 to go over the 55, and you can see we're currently above all the EMAs. So what we need to do is constantly stay above them because right now we're being forced into a move, and I'll show you that move. So right now you've got this particular pattern just here for XRP, okay? It's called double top. It's actually a reversal pattern, and if you lose a level of support like this, if you start to fall below it. You, you, you form a reversal okay so this is really really important for xrp that it needs to hold support okay look where the 20 is it's creeping up and if it back to and holds it what's going to happen it's going to force you up okay and you're going to start creating some kind of ascending triangle do you see this they're a bullish continuation pattern so this is a really really crucial time for the next day or so for xrp you need to see it hold support because if it does you're looking at a breaking out of this uh broadening falling channel they call it a broadening falling wedge descending uh, ascending descending broadening wedge whatever you, you you name it you'll see loads of different variations and names for it but it's basically a broadening channel that's descending and when you break out you come back to where you formed it okay which is obviously up there which I've shown you so it, it's important basically we're being forced into a move now I'm going to show you the breakdown targets obviously uh, if you do see XRP lose this level of support right now, this is where you see it lose the EMAs as well. So this is called a double M top pattern. You see this, and if XRP loses this key level of support right here and loses the 20 EMA especially, then you're looking at a bit of a reversal here, to be honest with you. And hopefully we hold the support because, like I've just shown you, if we hold support, we're going to bounce up and we're going to tackle this resistance again because we're being forced to test it. Do you see this? So this this EMA is creeping up, and as long as you keep adhering and, and back testing the support, because you can see you've not touched the the 20 since you was way down here. Okay, so it's begging for a retest, and it's holding its own, and the 20 is creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. If it bounces off it, wow, that's a good little signal that you're going to come up, test this as support uh, resistance, sorry, before hopefully breaking out. But obviously, always going to show you the breakdown targets. If you lost this level of support right now, you could be looking at a bit of a correction for XRP right there. Okay, from that level, if it does lose that and the EMAs, you looking at an eight percent downtrend for, for downturn for, for xrp but rest assured this is really important we're going to drop that in for you so you know exactly what that target is right now xrp currently 95 cents you can see you're trading at 97 cents if you start to see xrp close below 09581 and start to hit its head as resistance then you're looking at that eight percent uh, rollover for XRP right there okay but I want to reassure you that it's looking relatively healthy you have bolted out the gates at the moment at the moment from the bottom like I've shown you in the early segment of the video XRP was up 65% and it's currently trading 51% and from I think we said put the di some bids in at 70 didn't we so you can see from there currently up uh, whopping 38% so for anyone that bought the dip well done uh, it's looking really really good and you've had a nice appreciation there so fingers crossed we hold support because if we do and this is the thing okay you can't go off into space forever you have to roll over and back test support if you hold it you're looking great for continuation remember resistance becomes support for continuation so we need to hold this if you start seeing it lose it then do put in a cheeky little short at least down to this level right here and I'll show you what that level is right there for XRP because you can make money on the way down, you can make money on the way up, obviously. So if you do start to see XRP close below 09581, do anticipate a little short opportunity down there of 0882, which it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You probably roll over, find a level of support before continuation, okay? So that's XRP in a nutshell. Um, you can see you're trading in this channel. Okay, you are trading this channel. You've hit your head as resistance, and right now you're being forced into a move by the the, the 20 EMA on the hourly time frame. If you hold support, it's going to create you up, create you up. Hopefully, by tomorrow when I come back, we've actually found support. We've done something like this. We've been pushed up. We've tested this as resistance, and we've got the pop out for XRP. Because if we have, you're looking at a nice little reversal pattern formed right there, and you've broken the trend effectively. You, you, you're in a downtrend. You reversed it. You've bottomed out. V-shaped bottom, and you've broken out of key level resistance right there, and you're currently looking to, to march onwards and upwards to that 176 which is another 68 appreciation right there for XRP and once you break that B high okay once you break that B high boom it's looking fantastic for continuation in this bull run up to those uh, targets that we've got up there as well because the next price prediction off this Fibonacci extension right here you're looking at $2.64 on the 1272 extension right there for XRP and obviously 
getting back up to these levels as well the 1618 and the 1414 dollars so fingers crossed everybody um yeah that's xrp in a nutshell hopefully we can hold this we are breaking down a little bit we're coming back down to test it support do you see this if you start to lose 095 putting a little cheeky short down to 0888 uh it's a little opportunity of around about what is it seven percent okay testing times who said crypto wasn't uh, exciting eh take care everyone be back tomorrow bye bye